I will show you how to configure your Avery scale in order for you to connect on your PLC using Mad Madbus TCP. So I have here the software Zetos 2.0. In this software, I can configure my scale easily. The downside of this is you need to purchase the license. So let's start. So on the PLC, you need to identify the the data type and what token you are using. For example, I want to read the current value of the gross weight of the scale. So I just need to press the show token value help. It will show me all the value. I have here, for example, number one, the gross weight value of the of the scale. I had number two, the tear weight. So I will be needing only the gross weight value, which the value is one. So we'll type one here. And 71, if I want to see the action, the flag for the zero. So whenever the person is pressing the zero button, I may able to to monitor that bit, that flag, 72 is the tear and the print. So on the configuration, you need to choose the TCP if you are working on the bad bus. And this is very important, the big and the little Indian. Otherwise, you don't have the, have a good reading with the, with the weight. In this case, I will be using the bid big indian and after that the next step is the protocol have to use the plc and the binding will be ethernet one when assigning ip address on your your scale you have to go to ethernet option or the ethernet port and assign the IP address of your scale and the subnet mask. So since I already download this, so you have to do is to just go to file and click download. Click download. <coughs> As you can see, I have three scales here. I'm gonna download this on my on the on this IP address once you already download it you can now take the data from the PLC so I have here the project that I use using the S7 1500 PLC it's pretty much simple you just add the the Madbus client block so where you can find it is you just go to the instruction the others and choose the MB underscore client. Once you have the black, you need to configure the parameters in order for you to put the parameters correctly. You have to read the the description for the block. The request is it means that you will connect. The request is true. The instruction sends the communication request. And if you the disconnect is also when it's one the communication connection will be disconnected and one important thing is the connect id the unique id of the madbus server in my case i assign it to one and the the ip octet is not applicable for 1500 you need to add it manually on adb so how to add it you have to do is you go to this is my db for example i added the connect and then the data type just type the tcon underscore ip underscore v4 v4 it will get it will just give you all the parameters 
then on the IP address go to the remote address type here your IP address of your scale In my case I'm using this and the remote port is also important so you have to assign it to 502 for the scales and what else the interface ID should be 64 bytes and I'm using number two instead of one sorry and the active establish should be true so I will take all the data on the parameters then after that go back to your block thing to consider is the mod bus mode zero is to only read the parameters from the scales here the MB mode zero if you are taking the values or if you're reading the values for the scale in my case I'm taking the values from the address 40,001 so on and here I put the 40,001 the data length will be four words and the pointer we're gonna start sending the value from the scales to our DB which is the DB 47 started with the dbx 0.0, .0 and it was 10 12 bytes here and the last thing is the connect so the the db that you created this one connect need to move it here that just drag it gonna send all the data to this function block. once you already done this you download your PLC then and there we go you have the connection see PC means it's taking the data then it transfer to the PLC that's why you have a two now it's very important to Specify correctly the address. Smart bus it start with the four thousand. Just go to the manual of your Avery scale. Start the Avery scale. The input read and write will start the address forty thousand one. And here are the two byte example of the indicator versus the mad bus register. So sixteen, for example, you have a sixteen. bits of data so I'm gonna just uh, skip the next address so the next one will be 26 and if you are working with a 4 byte data skip 2 byte so I think that's it